Hey guys, in this video, we're going to look at how to create a split screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. And what's really cool about this effect is that it's just one continuous clip, but it's delivered to us via a split screen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have our clip right here. And to get started, the first thing we're going to do is to create two duplicates of the same clip and then just layer them right on top of each other. So then the next thing we're going to do is to disable the two clips that are at the bottom. And then the clip that are on the top, we're going to use that to create the first part of this effect. And we're going to start by cropping it. And we're going to crop right so that it only takes up about one third of the screen. Okay, so that looks good. And then we're going to start trimming this clip. I think about one second and 20 frames is a good duration. Um, so that's good enough. And then uh, we're going to create the fading and a fade out look by using the built in fader handles that come with every clip in the timeline in the Vintage Resolve. So that's very easy to do. So guys, at this point, pretty much we have the first part of this effect built. So moving on, we're going to enable the clip that's in the middle. And the first thing we're going to do is just start cropping left and right so that it sits kind of right in the middle. Okay, so once that is done, then we're going to start trimming. But here, what we wanted to do is we want this video to start actually a little bit before uh, the first clip on top starts to fade away. So that looks good. And then in terms of the duration, I want to make sure it's the, the exact same duration uh, as the clip that's on, on top. And then we're just going to build the fading and fade out look using the fader handles that come with the clip. Uh, once that is done, guys. Um, so yeah, at this point, you know, this effect is really starting to uh, slowly uh, come together. All right, last but not the least, we're going to work on the clip at the bottom. We're going to enable it. And then here, we're going to start crop left. But you can also uh, look at all three clips at the same time because we do have uh, overlaps. And here, we just need to make sure that the gap that are uh, in between, the, uh, those two gaps are very similar in terms of width. So that looks good. And now we can just start to trim this, uh, trim this clip. And once again, here, the idea is we want this clip to start a little bit or before you know the clip on top starts to fade away, uh, same duration, and then we can build the fading and the fade out uh, look by using the, uh, the the default fader handles that come with every clip. So guys, at this point, this effect is pretty much complete. So it's a really awesome effect that you can uh, that you can very quickly build into Vintage Resolve. So I hope this helps, guys, and I will see you next time.